My name is attorney LaShonda Council, and I'm a Georgia trucking lawyer with the Truck Injury Law Group, a division of the personal injury law firm of Council and Associates. The purpose of this video is to tell you about 10 crucial things you must do immediately if you or someone you know is involved in an accident with a tractor trailer, semi truck, 18 wheeler, or any commercial or business vehicle because I don't want you to get stuck after being hit by a truck. First, no matter how minor the tractor trailer collision, call 911 immediately. But when you call 911, only provide the necessary information that the 911 operator asks you regarding the accident, such as the accident location, your name, and whether an ambulance is needed for any of the parties involved. You don't want to provide unnecessary details about how the incident occurred or who you may think is at fault. This tip is critical because the 911 call will be recorded and the insurance company for the trucking company will listen to see how you describe the collision and they may attempt to use your words against you. Tip 2. Make sure you give your account of the wreck to the police officer that arrives on the scene of the collision. Oftentimes, my clients are seriously injured after a collision with a semi or tractor trailer, and they are immediately taken from the accident scene by ambulance. So they don't have the chance to tell the police officer their version of how the accident actually occurred. This can be a problem because most truck drivers are instructed by their trucking company to not admit fault for causing the accident under any circumstance even if it's obvious that the truck driver caused the accident. Also, the truck driver might say things to the reporting police officer to attempt to make it seem as if the collision was actually your fault. Obviously, if the collision is determined to be your fault, the trucking company has no obligation to compensate you for your injuries. So it is critical that if you can't provide a statement to the police officer immediately after the collision, you contact the reporting police officer as soon as possible to provide your account of how the crash occurred. Tip number three, other than the reporting police officer or other law enforcement personnel, don't talk to the truck driver or anyone else at the accident scene that did not witness the accident. Trucking companies frequently send investigators to accident scenes to gather information about the collision. Sometimes these investigators are in plain clothes and may attempt to get you to say things against your interest about how the accident occurred or even your potential injuries. Therefore, talking to an investigator for a trucking company after a collision can be extremely harmful to your injury case. Tip four. If it's safe to do so, take pictures of all vehicles involved in the collision. Also take pictures of any damage that may have been done to areas around the accident scene, such as road debris, broken vehicle parts, or even skid marks. Photographs can serve as a key tool in determining specifics about the accident. Tip five, if you're hurt, get medical attention immediately. Insurance adjusters love when accident victims delay obtaining medical treatment for their injuries so they have a reason to diminish the amount they're obligated to pay you for your wreck claim. Insurance adjusters think that you're not injured if you don't quickly get medical attention. Unfortunately, I've had clients who've suffered from severe shoulder injuries or other serious orthopedic injuries, and they didn't even know the nature of their condition until weeks after the collision. Despite these severe injuries, the assigned insurance adjuster tried to diminish their claim due to treatment delays. Tip six, similar to tip five, unless you're 100% sure you aren't injured at the time of the collision, don't say or assume that you aren't hurt. Again, like the shoulder injury example mentioned in tip five, we all know that after a traumatic event or hard physical activity, it may take a day or two before you start to feel any type of pain. Insurance companies get excited when injury victims state that they aren't hurt at the scene of a tractor trailer accident because they will use that statement to attempt 
to reject any medical attention received after the collision. Tip seven, if you can, try to get contact information from all accident witnesses. If the cause of the trucking accident is not clear, a witness may be able to clear up any inconsistencies. However, be mindful of tip three by making sure that the person you are talking to is actually an accident witness and not an insurance investigator. Tip eight, make a note of any businesses that are close to where the crash occurred. Some businesses have cameras that provide outdoor surveillance. Their surveillance camera may have footage of the actual accident. Again, as mentioned in tip two, the truck driver will always deny they caused the accident. So surveillance video may be very important. Tip nine, make a note of anything suspicious or out of the ordinary about the tractor trailer driver or his or her vehicle. Unfortunately, sometimes accidents are caused by truck drivers who are fatigued, distracted, or under the influence of drugs or alcohol. So it's important to note any strange behavior you observe. Also, truck drivers often drive vehicles that are not in good working condition. When truck drivers do this, they selfishly put everyone on the road at risk of harm. Finally, this probably should be tip number one. Contact an experienced trucking attorney immediately after any collision or wreck involving a semi-truck, 18-wheeler, or any type of commercial or work truck. This is the most important step to getting the maximum recovery for your case. However, I want to emphasize that when choosing an attorney, make sure that you hire an attorney that actually handles truck injury cases. Trucking accidents and typical car accidents are not handled the same. Trucking companies know when they're dealing with an experienced injury attorney versus an attorney who thinks a truck accident is handled like a typical car accident. Again, my name is attorney LaShonda Council Rogers with the Truck Injury Law Group, a division of the personal injury law firm of Council and Associates. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you only take one thing away from this video, you must remember that if you or someone you know is seriously injured in an automobile accident involving a tractor trailer, semi truck, or any type of commercial or business vehicle, you should call a lawyer to fight the trucking company on your behalf because trucking companies have teams of investigators and lawyers working on their behalf and so should you and your family member. If you have any questions after you or someone you know is involved in an accident with a tractor trailer, semi truck, 18 wheeler, or any other type of commercial or work truck, it's important to contact me immediately for a free, no obligation, no risk case review. Call me at 855 truck 11. That's 855 878 2511. Or you can also visit us on the web. Remember, don't get stuck getting hit by a truck.